welcome back to my vlog. I'm actually filming outside because I am on my way out. I'm going to see Europe on Skiing, uh, which is a film festival here in Indonesia held by the European embassies. And it is a tradition of mine and my boyfriend that we go see it every year. So I thought I'd make a project out of it this year. Uh, I think I'm going to try to make a fan art of each of the film that I watch uh, and it should be fun, <laughs> it should be explorative as usual and without further ado, let's get going! up having so much milk that she doesn't really know how what to do with it and we kind of follow her and her husband's frustration throughout the film uh, honestly I feel like the film is really super slow but if I guess if you're grieving or you're feeling way too much this film can be something relaxing for you to watch but if you're asking for actions this is not the film for you <laughs> and personally for me and my boyfriend this film was yeah, you know, I could pick up the pace a little bit. But regardless, I still want to draw the fan art for this film. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's go. <laughs> It rained for a while, but now it's back to sunny again. So I think I'm gonna go get ready to catch the next film on your on screen. Um, since my boyfriend is working, he won't be able to join me. But I, so I'll be going alone. But I'm really excited about it. And let's get going. So I watched my second film from Europe on screen. Um, it is a Georgian film called Citizen Saint, or its original title, uh, Mokala Kes Mindani. I'm sorry to anyone who might be watching from Georgia if I butchered your language. So this film is a black and white film that follows a small, I assume, fictional mining town in Georgia whose people worships this one saint crucified on top of a hill every day, you know, to protect them when they go mining, to uh, bestow prosperity upon them, and to 
do whatever their bidding is. <laughs> uh, and one day the saint comes back to life and start just roaming around town as a normal person and it kind of uh, shakes things up in this in the town and people start to feel a little uneasy because now they can't pray to the saint on top of a hill anymore they have this one guy who may or may not be able to grunt their prayers i think i don't really know what to make of this film but i really enjoyed it it is part art house i think and black comedy as well and definitely leaves me feeling a little unsettled at the end but even though it's in black and white, I wasn't bored at all throughout the screening. This is like my first ever Georgian film that I watch. I've never seen any Georgian film before, so it was really exciting. Uh, and I think I'm gonna make the fan art for that now. Also, later tonight, I will go to another screening, of course. Uh, this time a German film. It is about time, <laughs> because I feel like every European screen there needs to be at least one German film that I catch. So, okay, let's get going. screen yesterday it is called the fox or the fox it is a german film that tells the story of this uh, austrian nazi soldier who forms a bond and a close relationship with a fox that follows him around as he moves from town to town to finish his missions it is basically the german version of hachiko um, set in world war ii so it definitely got me in all the feels <sighs> And I'm so excited to draw the fan art for it, which I will probably not do today because I need to go to the office after this. Uh, I will probably do it on Sunday or Monday along with whatever I watch on Saturday. But I thought I'd just update you to create a like, nice segmentation of all the movies that I watch. Um, so, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> It's Monday today. Um, we are currently celebrating Eid al Adha, and so I have the day off work. Yesterday there was a lot of things going on, so I didn't end up drawing the last fan art for uh, Europe on Screen, which is what I'm going to do today. So let me just update you a little bit on what happened on Saturday. My boyfriend and I were supposed to uh, catch our last screening of Europe on screen on Saturday, but unfortunately, due to the rain, we weren't able to go. 
and so I think today I'm gonna try to draw um, a fan art of the last movie I watched on your one screen, which is The Fox or The Fox, as I probably mentioned earlier. Um, and also, I think I'm going to try to watch uh, Don't Expect Too Much from the End of the World, which is, I think, a Romanian film that's also available on Europe on screen. But since I have a movie subscription, I thought I would just catch it on my own convenience. So that's what I'm gonna do today. While I watch that, I'm gonna draw the fan art for Dead Fox. Uh, after that, it's going to wrap up the entire Europe on screen experience. And we'll talk again soon. Let's go! Okay, so on to the last one. Do not expect too much from the end of the world. I thought I'd get straight into it so as not to waste too much time. So here we go. This is a Romanian film that follows a whole day of a female production assistant who drives around town to interview people who have been involved in work accidents for a documentary for a multinational company. Um, it is a multi-stylistic film, a lot of the shots are shot differently, uh, some are in black and white, some are pretty grainy like it was from the 70s and some are you know, very true to uh, our time now. The film I feel is pretty slow, it is almost 3 hours long, there's a lot of conversations but also a lot of like quiet moments uh, where there's barely any scoring. So, I mean, if you're the type of person who needs action all the time, this is definitely not the film for you. I personally find it really interesting because we see how the production assistant manages to go through her work, but also being able to slip in time to uh, film her alter ego for social media, which I think is a beautiful reflection on how we see employment today and escapism from our day-to-day -day, um, hustle, I guess. So yeah, I think I find that really interesting. So yeah, that's my last film. I hope you enjoyed this process. So that's it for my Europe on screen project. 
it was a lot of fun for me to try traditional media, especially the black and white with a pop of color look. I've always wanted to try that with ink and Copic because I've been seeing it uh, on other people's sketchbooks. So I thought it would liven up my own sketchbook. I really enjoyed most of the films that I watched. I'm a huge film buff, so if you have any film recommendations for me, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, especially like European films. I'm a sucker for European films. I really hope this has been enjoyable for you to watch. I know this is like a format that I've been doing a lot lately and I'm thinking of like changing it up, but I guess we have to wait and see. I'm starting to think that people who vlog are people who do art full time. So they have a lot of time to record their progress or they have a lot of materials art wise that they can um, probably put in a vlog and maybe have their own schedules, whatever. But I am technically not at that level yet. I'm still only doing art part time and doing office work part time. So dividing between that and also between uh, my personal projects and my commissioned works um, can be a little tricky still. So please bear with me. As usual, of course, if you have any future video suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you want to support what I do here, um, there's a link to my Patreon and Karya Karsa in the description. Uh, every penny that you give is much appreciated for me. Um, you can go as low as $2 to support me. And that is already pretty, pretty huge for me. In exchange, you can get some free downloadables from me and also uh, early sneak peeks to videos like this and uh, other behind, of, behind the scenes stuff. I hope you like this video. Please um, share to other friends if you like it. Maybe they will find it enjoyable as well. And you know, subscribe to the channel if that's what you want. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.